Now we introduce the configuration of IP address and some basic applications. First, how to configure IP address? Actually, you can use this IP address command, but first you need to enter the interface view. So originally you will go to the user view and then you go to the system view and then you go to the interface view. And then In this interface view, you can configure the IP address with this command, followed by the real IP address you want to allocate it, and the mask or mask length. This is optional. So this is an example. If we want to configure the IP address for this network, there are two routers connected with each other. And if you want to configure the IP address of this interface, then you should first go into this interface. So go to the interface 001, and then use the IP address and the mask to configure it. Or you can use this format to configure the IP address. Similarly, for this one, you can write like this. And then let's configure logical interface. So this is a physical interface because there is a real line, real cable connected with this interface. But actually we can have another logical interface which doesn't exist in the real world, but it represents that if you want to transmit to itself, then you can use this loop back uh, interface. This is only a logical interface. You can also use IP address to configure an IP and the mask to it. But if it's a loopback, then you only need you need a 32-bit uh, network part for it. So actually, if you configured the loopback interface, all the IP with itself will all the packet with the destination IP to be itself will go through this loopback interface. Now, finally, let's introduce a little bit about the network IP address planning. So if you are the administrator, you have company and you have applied a lot of IP addresses, then how can you allocate this address to the hosts or the devices in your company? That is a problem of network IP address planning problem. Actually, the IP address planning must consider a lot of things. For example, you need to consider what is the network structure, what kind of routing protocols are you using, the traffic planning, what kind of traffic are running on it, and also some service rules. In addition, you also need to consider the network hierarchy, and you need to use the top bottom way. So you first got the address range of the whole network, and then from top, divide them into, for example, two parts and then four parts to each segment. The criteria or the rule of network planning is as follows. First, you need to guarantee uniqueness. One interface can only be allocated with one IP address. They cannot repeat with each other. It must be unique. Second, you should allocate continuously. You should not allocate one to here, one to here, one to here. That's not a reasonable, not an elegant planning. And also scalability. Scalability means that we need to reserve enough uh, IP addresses for each layer. Uh, although currently the size or the scale of a network is not very large. For example, if we only have 100 hosts in, in a current network, we still need to reserve more IP addresses for this uh, sub-network uh, so that if this network is expanded and it has contained more a uh, number of hosts, for example, it has 200 or even more number of hosts, we can still allocate a continuous IP address 
space for the subnet. Also, you need to think of the service and the structure. So uh, if you are uh, given an IP address, it's easy to identify its location and it's easy to know its service. So this is an example. If you are given this company with four different departments and you are given address range, then how do you segment this network into several parts? Actually, you can divide them into different subnet. For example, you can divide them into a smaller a subnet. For example, if one department only have less than 200 hosts, then 8-bit host part will be enough. So you can allocate this subnet to, to this department and then the next subnet to be this department. If all these departments no more than 254 devices or interfaces, then this allocation is good enough and you can support as many as departments as possible. Okay, so that's all for this lecture. So in this lecture, actually we tell about the IP address. And if you want to be connected to the internet, you must apply an IP address. Secondly, we talk about the IP protocol and also describe several concepts related to IPv4 address and subnetting. We we'll also talk a little bit about ICMP protocol and IPv6. Finally, we we'll talk a little bit about the network planning and basic configurations. Okay, that's all for this lecture. Thank you.